So it's like a, it's like a, a, a social, like it's a social, it has to be accepted all the way around, all the way up to the president? <laughs> it's just that we have a, we have a radar for who is prestigious. Like if you turn on the news, national news is prestigious. The person is famous. All this, you know, the set cost a billion dollars to build. There's all these bells and whistles and stuff. Those are all signals to you to tell you that what we're telling you is important and it overrides any shit that some schlub on the street corner tells you. And so if you adhere to what we're telling you and we, you do the thing that we're telling you, you have to do in order to be a good person, then that involves you in our prestige. If you fail to do that, then what the prestige tells you is that the power that's going to be against you is enormous. And gliders, gliders are built with a sense of anxiety about that, high anxiety. Yeah, I know. It's like you freak out when you hear the word, oh, I'm not racist. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, it, yes. And a word like racist, for example, it was never a word that was meant to describe something just neutral that got weaponized. It was always a weapon. And it was always it was always there in order to crack the whip on the glider's ass to get them into gear to do whatever they had to do to prove they weren't racist. So the system that's using it can say like, oh, this is racist, that's racist, and then they know that the glider will avoid that shit and disavow it. Let me let me show you something that's not racist. I want to sincerely and deeply apologize to Mr. Rodriguez for the serious injury and harm that I caused to him by shooting him. Holding back tears Thursday, now 21-year-old Brianna Johnson accepted responsibility for pulling the trigger inside a Wauwatosa George Webb back in January of 2022. Upset over their order, the cell phone video appears to show Johnson's sister fighting a server. Johnson then fires the gun, hitting that server, Anthony Rodriguez, in the face. She pointed the gun at least twice at him. She pointed the gun at his face and she fired a shot. And thank God that this is in homicide court. I don't know how much closer we can get, Judge. The shooting was 13 seconds of horrible judgment in the heat of a moment brought on by loved ones picking a fight. The judge sentenced Brianna Johnson to 10 years in prison with five additional. You're muted. Coming into a... Um uh, um establishment fighting the, the staff and then shooting them 10 years of jail looking like Simon. yep vision there is no excuse for what happened i was drunk and hot i got involved in the fire however it happened i don't know who shot a gun to another human's face it pulled on the heartstrings let's just put it that way um the glider got shot in the face he's um Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Let's give him a chance. It pulled on the heartstrings. Let's just put it that way. Um, I, I may not accept everything that she might have said, but uh, I, I do feel for her. I really do. Rodriguez. <laughs> do you understand that those black people at that basketball game will never forgive those white people for who allegedly scrawled that, um, that swastika into the dust on top of the locker? They will never forgive those people. And they never liked him in the first place anyway, so. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, black people who didn't see it will never forgive the people who allegedly did it. Yeah, it's not in your nature. You'll forgive each other, <laughs> but not some outside group, especially well, gliders. I mean, what it seems like is for some people, a grievance will be held as long as it promises you some reward. Right. It doesn't have it doesn't have anything to do with reality. It's just like if this gives me an advantage, I'll hold a grudge. Yeah, it's it's game. It's um it's it's um what, what you would call it's hus it's a hustle. It's yeah, emotional it's a hustle. manipulation. Yeah, exactly. Like exactly. It is. It's a it's a hustling it's a hustling mentality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're using it. Um, short bus driver says from the Muskego ish area. Those people protesting. I just virtue signaling. Muskego isn't racist, but there's a lot of money in that city. A farmish suburb of Milwaukee. 
Oh, okay. They saying don't come to my don't come to my hood trying to tear shit up. Yeah, don't come <laughs> here, to show you <laughs> <laughs> virtue signaling. Yeah, we we we're not racist, man. Don't don't burn our stuff down. Salute the savage. He says, self guilty gliders are insufferable. <laughs> Super great. Yeah, man, it's it's annoying. I mean, I I like gliders, but y'all are fucking annoying, man. With this shit, stop this shit, stop it. It pulled on the heartstrings. Let's just put it that way. Um, I, I may not accept everything that she might have said, but uh, I I do feel for her. I really do. Rodriguez spent upwards of six months in a neck brace and had a quarter of his teeth recently replaced. He says he agreed with the judge's sentence. How does it feel to have at least this behind you today? It's a step forward in the healing process. And that victim went through so much. All right, Hannah Johnson's sister is also in jail right now for the same shooting. Where does her case stand? Right, Joyce. So the state says that Johnson's sister, Brianta Johnson, was the one who actually went out to the car, grabbed the gun, brought it inside the restaurant during that fight on that January night. According to online court rec records, she does still face first degree intentional homicide charges with a plea hearing set for next week. An attempt to charge. Thanks very much. Hannah Hillier. They was thugged out, right? Yeah. Now she in the court with her voice cracking like she said. Mm mm. And she's yeah. so, 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 so trivial. Yeah, so, so trivial. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the order was messed up, so they started kicking the people's asses in there. That's that's normal, though. That that right there, just just order being fucked up, and you start kicking the staff's ass, that, that's not like a... Don't get me wrong, every... It's, it's rare, but it's whenever you see it in some people, let's put it like that. Whenever you see that situation where the staff gets their asses kicked because they fucked up the order, it's 99 percent gonna be some people. Um uh, let's see. Um, yeah, um, I got a I got a video I want to show y'all. This teacher getting her ass kicked, this white teacher getting the brakes beat off her by this little teeny black girl. Um, but I can't, I don't, it's too it's too much. I can't show it. It's too much. I put the link in the um, I put the link in the chat if y'all wanted to see it. This little teeny little black girl beating the dog shit out of her white teacher, man. Let's put the link in the um in the chat. Um in front of everybody nobody helps the teacher um that's the part that was fucked up nobody helps the teacher let's let's go let's get out of milwaukee man it's too much going on milwaukee let me let me get let me get into some other shit Uncovering inequality, a series of new reports reveals the ways racism continues to cause disparities in our society. The dean of the Columbia Journalism School commissioned the project, and he tells CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell how he hopes to change the conversation. The idea for the Uncovering Inequality Project came to journalist and educator Jelani Cobb in 2020 as the country reeled from the pandemic, the subsequent recession, and the outcry over policing after the murder.